Hi everybody and welcome to a uh, little tutorial for how to have your broadcasts or have your gameplay um, ready to be on any endgame TV broadcasts. The things you're going to need is, well, you need to be able to ha like stream Mario Kart, you need a capture card, you need OBS, you need all that stuff. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. Restream.io is what you're going to want to log into, which is this website right here. This website is going to give you two pieces of information that is important to the broadcast. Your RTMP URL and your stream key. These are two pieces of information that can be plugged into XSplit or OBS to stream your gameplay uh, and can be used by us to make a better broadcast. You're going to be having, you're going to be using this information, the RTMP URL and the stream key information. You're going to be putting that into your streaming software so that your streaming software streams your gameplay to Restream, which Restream will then use to broadcast your signal elsewhere. And we we use the RTMP URL and the stream key to be able to directly grab your stream into Endgame TV's uh, broadcast so that there's one, like very, li very, very, very little lag. And uh, two, it's um, a lot more convenient and much better looking than screen capture. What you're going to want to do is sign up in this area on the bottom. Just requires an email and a password. Uh, and that takes about two seconds without any email confirmation, and it's pretty solid and easy. So once you're logged in, you're going to notice a couple of things very quickly. Uh, for starters, you're going to notice a little screen here that says offline, uh, RTMP URL, stream key. Um, this is all stuff that's very important. You're going to want to note. Um, so first things first, you want to set the region to whatever closest, um, whatever your closest region is to uh, these servers. Mine is a US East, so, US East, so I'm going to keep it there. Uh, and after you do that, the first thing you're going to want to do is add the channel that, add the channels that you want to want to be streaming to. So if you have a Twitch channel or a Hitbox channel or a Ustream channel or a YouTube channel, you can go ahead and do that. If you click on this, it should bring you to a login screen. Okay, it are, it's already doing it auto automatically for me, but it'll bring you to a login screen if you have if you aren't logged into Twitch. Uh, you just click authorize and then you're done, and it does that. So great, you've got your uh, restream account linked up to your Twitch. Uh, you've got your really uh, you've got your channel linked up to any of your channels by at this point. Um, how do you go about uh, getting this to work for you? So you can set your stream title here to whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to do test again. Take the RTMP URL and copy and paste it and you're going to want to go to OBS. Now, you go to the settings part of your of your OBS window. So first uh, first thing you want to do is go to the broadcast broadcast settings of your settings window. Keep it at live stream, but instead of Twitch or whatever you have it on, go to custom and copy and paste the what you saw is the RTMP URL. Copy and paste that into the FMS URL here. And after that, copy and paste the stream key you have on Restream.io and copy and paste it into the Play Path slash Stream Key. After that, hit Apply, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah, you 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 did it. So when you have that information done, close out of OBS. Yes, close out of it really quickly. And the reason why is when you tick on and off of this. When you tick on and off of your channel being online or offline, um, Restream requires your uh, for you to restart your um, broadcasting software, like OBS. So um, when you tick, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do when you think of streaming is tick this checkbox um, on. When you do that, then you can open open broadcaster software or whatever software you use. For some reason, it requires that. Then when you do that, make sure, I, I, I must stress this, make sure the checkbox is ticked for whatever site you're streaming to, and then open up Open Broadcaster Software with it already being configured to have it work with Restream. Once that is done, then you can simply just click Start Streaming, um, and it should directly be going to your Restream, if I'm not mistaken, which I should not be mistaken. See, it's connecting, it'll show up here, and that means it's working great. Okay. And once that's showing, that means, if it's showing in the restream window, that means that it is showing on your Twitch, and you are good to go. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, that's pretty much it. Um, 
once you get this working, uh, I wouldn't want you to please do not hit this refresh button on the stream key thing. Um, this is all confidential information that you don't want giving to anybody else because it gives them control over the distribution of your stream. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, you can hit me up on Skype. Send us a tweet at endgame underscore TV. Or send us an, a message on our website, endgametv.net. And, uh, yeah. Take care.